Hello, friends. You are welcome to another session on Code with Math. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please kindly hit the subscribe button. And if you love what you're learning on this channel, please help us reach out to more people by hitting the like button and also sharing with your friends. Thank you very much. We have started a series on learning to program in C. And today we shall be continuing on that series um, by considering another conditional statement, the switch statement. So without further ado, let's dive into VS Code and how, see how the switch statement works. Okay, so here in VS Code, I'm going to open a new file. So let me just create a new file and name it switch. C. So we would include, um, let's just include our standard input and output. So let's create a main function. Okay, so let's say we have this variable A and let that um, variable be a char. So let's say the char is a char, char answer. equals A. So we can have a switch statement. Or better still, for better understanding, let's not initialize this variable yet. So the variable name is answer. So we are going to ask for a prompt. Let's say we have a question. So we use printf. Let's say Okay, so let's say the capital city of Nigeria is, so we are expecting an answer. So we can have another printf. Well, this time around, let me use puts and um, Let me end this with a new line right here. So I'm going to use puts here. And I'm going to say, okay, so A, Lagos. Another puts. B. Abuja. Sorry, this shouldn't be here. And of course, let's have another option. So, puts. C. Um, let's say, Kano. Okay, so we have three options. So we are building a this is a prototype of a quiz application. So then after printing all of this, we would expect, we can say printf, enter your answer. So could that be A? B or C. 
So we are going to wait for the user's input. Okay, so let's use a scanf to read our user's input. So scanf send C. So we would enter the address of answer. Semicolon. So we can have a switch statement. So what a switch statement does is a switch statement is going to take an expression. So in this case, the expression we are passing into this switch statement is going to be is going to be answer. So we want to test different cases of answer. So what, that's what a switch statement does. It tests different cases of this particular expression. So this answer is the expression we are going to evaluate. So it's just a variable we are going to check. And then it's expected that this variable should, um, should be evaluated into an integer. So what a switch statement in C can take, it can take a variable that evaluates into an integer. That is, for example, a char. Remember, a char is a special type of integer. So you can take a char, different, it will, it, will, it will evaluate different values of a char. You can take a Boolean value, for example, 0 or 1, true or false. And then it can take different integer values. But you cannot pass in a float inside there. You can't pass in a float and then you cannot have a string and pass in a string into it. All right, so let's see what we can do with this. So we've um, we've declared, we've written our switch um, expression there. We've, we've written switch, we've put our answer there. So the next thing is we will have this open and close curly braces. So we'll define the different cases. So you can say case. So in that case, what do you want to test against? So that's your first case. So in this case, you are the case is expecting a constant expression, right? So we're expecting, in this case, we want case when answer is A. What do you do? You can say, so you can say, let's do a printf, right? And then we say wrong, not legal. And then the thing is, after evaluating this, let me just adjust that. After evaluating this, if you want this um, statement to continue, if you want it to not to to um, to continue, that's to exit the K, the switch. You have to put a break. If not, if you don't put this break keyword here, it's going to also go ahead and still evaluate the next statement. So in this case, we're testing for B, and then. B is Abuja. So this is our answer. So we can print F. And say correct. A new line. Sorry, here too, I have to print a new line. And then we can have the third case here. So when it's C. So we're expecting these three inputs. So we can say print F. Wrong.
not carnal. So we can also address other cases with uh, with this switch, right? So we've addressed the case when a when it's a when it's b and when it's c. What if the user enters a wrong input? So automatically, let's say the person has failed, but let's give them a let's give them a word to let it pin them, right? So let default. So you can set a default case so that after evaluating all of this, if no, none of these cases match the situation, then it will just evaluate the default case. So this default, we can print and use printf. You entered the wrong impute and automatically filled the question. All right, so we have completed the switch statement. So what this what is going to happen here is okay. Sorry, I didn't put this keyword. So if if the case is B, that means it's still going to go ahead to do this. So that is why we must always put a break keyword. So I'm going to put break here. I'm going to put another break here. So of course after the default, you don't necessarily need to bring put a break because automatically it's going to exit. So automatically it's going to exit. So just note that. So we can compile this. So, all right. So the capital city of Nigeria is Lagos. A, B, C. A is Lagos, B is Abuja, C is Kano. So do you want to phone a friend? Or you want to use 50 50 okay so let's say we choose a oh wrong answer not lagos let's do that again so let's say we choose c this time wrong answer not kano and then okay let's choose a oh sorry i chose a again it's b i wanted to choose so let's choose b Correct. So what if we choose something else, right? We, we're not, let's say we choose D. Oh, you entered the wrong input and automatically failed the question. All right, guys. So that's a switch. That's how the switch statement operates in C. So you can go ahead, you can build an excessive, an extensive quiz application. Think about what you can do with this. And um, maybe you build your project and let us know what you are able to build with a switch of uh, statement in the comment section. Thank you very much. Um, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified every time I release a video on this channel. And if you love what you are enjoying on this channel, help me to reach out to more people by hitting the like button and also sharing with your friends. Thank you very much. See you next time on code with math. Bye.